Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Hey my lives, hope you guys are good. I am back with another video where I basically talk about my transition from being a CSP to a professional nurse while I am doing this makeup. Do enjoy the video. It had not been an easy journey and I had to put on my big old panties because I was now getting ready for like, you know, the big world. I was in the big league now. Okay, I still am in the big league. So it was tough, okay? But we had to toughen up, okay? So watch the video to know what I'm talking about. I have exciting news for you guys. Voo Glam is turning six years old and they have a birthday celebration sale for you guys. You can get friends for up to zero dollars. Yes, you heard me. Zero, nada, nothing. Dollars. You wanna see how the frames look? Well, let me show you. This is definitely one of my fave, favorite pairs from them. I mean, I don't have to say much. We have these. Hmm. Hmm. I could definitely keep going. They have frames for everyone in the family. It be your husband, your boyfriend, your mother, your granny, and your kids and guess what they also have statement jewelry for you guys to try you do not want to miss this one and you know on this channel we do not get keep child the link will be down below on the description box so please do check them out i will definitely be on their website checking what i can get because i am obsessed with these frames and what i love is that it's statement glasses okay you can get prescription you can get non-treatment blue light blocking whatever you need you definitely can get and these are gorgeous i have not seen anyone wear these and i am the first that i've seen okay so do not miss the sale and do not say Afume didn't tell you because i definitely am telling you right now so do check them out happy birthday Vuglam. hope you have an amazing one starting with a clean canvas i've washed prepped and primed my face i've done my eyebrows because eyebrows take like a while and they need to look like cousins not sisters so, um i needed to do that off camera using mirror because my mirror is like a samoa so yeah guys if you see me looking this side i'm just looking at the mirror okay so let's start um i'm going in with my rivlon color stay foundation in the shade seven combination to oily skin so i as some of you guys may know that i was a csp last year which is a community service professional nurse last year at the biggest maternity hospital in South Africa child not just in the Western Cape in South Africa so yes did my CSP there so it the community service is a year right everything was going so well like I'm not gonna lie yo everything was going so well we had a program that was just dedicated for us as CSPs where there was like training and yeah basically training and courses and then we had like a ceremony a closing ceremony for us esps my goodness it was so beautiful i think you guys or some of you should have seen it because i posted it on on youtube that was beautiful my mom came along you know that is like my biggest supporter i mean that woman is just everything so she came as well as my my partner then we had an interview in jan yes mid jan we had like an interview for now applying to be professional nurses at the hospital then we were briefed because i remember i asked one of the sisters like not even one some of the sisters that i worked with like the questions they usually ask like you know just to 
have an idea of how like an interview is because I've never been interviewed before child like I had friends that were working in high school and all of that they went through interviews I've never worked so I don't know what I would expect but judging like from the questions I had to practice the questions basically it's like practical questions like what would you do in a situation like a b and c na 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 you know and it's obviously the things that we do like if maybe a baby starts stops breathing what would you do obviously you're gonna have to resuscitate the baby like such things you know you have to apply your knowledge and your skills and everything that you've learned here yeah, well cool um i prepared i think there were like 11 11 questions it was a lot child 11 questions but i feel like i did fairly well because i actually like i practiced i practiced and my last placement was labor ward so most of the questions were labor related and some of them were neonatal related and if you know child i love the neonatal ward like i'm currently working at the neonatal ward as like a midwife professional nurse so questions were fine um i was interviewed by obviously people that i'm familiar with so i was actually quite calm like i was nervous before i went inside like the interview room but then after that like as soon as i started speaking like i was so calm and <laughs> when like i had forgotten something or like i wanted to mention more on like a specific question but i didn't really i still wanted to think about it i'll just say can i get back to the question please and then you know they would ask the following question like a follow-up question or whatever so i did that it went fine this is now in jan right and my contract my csp contract was ending end of end of jan was it end of jan yes end of jan so the whole of um feb basically i was unemployed and i was a broke child like i broke. obviously i had saved money from like my csp year but that was um that money i put on my i fixed that money in my fixed account like i stored it there so that i could use it for something else initially um i wanted to save it for a car the same year but something in me was like uh child just just wait like i mean i was living so close like five minutes away from from work so i didn't necessarily need a car that year why am i saying that year as in like it was years ago last year so i didn't need a car last year because i was staying five minutes away from work so i didn't need it and i was like you know what let me wait for next year let me keep on saving this money until something comes up or until i saved up like enough or a lot or whatever i was just saving i didn't really have like a specific amount or like a target that okay now i'm gonna stop when i reach this target i didn't have that i was just saving i'm still saving <laughs> so you know i'm still saving but i'm not saving as much because you know the money decreases as soon as you like a professional nurse it's not the same as when you are a csp i'm hoping you guys can still see me hey um it's not the same like it decreases like it goes down but it's it's not too bad like it's not too bad that you can't survive and i, do, I don't really have much responsibilities so other than rent water electricity food gym yeah and supporting obviously my siblings and you know yeah i don't really have much because i don't have kids or whatever so that was that 
did the interview as i as i said it went well actually my friend Misha oh shame she was so nervous and she was like oh i messed up i don't even think they're gonna consider me but today we working at the same hospital together well not together not not in like the same wards but like same hospital so yeah whatever we did we did good <laughs> we did well but i i knew that i i actually killed it because i answered the question as best as i could and the questions were what i was told were going to be so yeah um then february came end of end of jan came then we had to sign um like resign basically because our contracts were ending so now we had to sign or resign it was not the best of feelings because now I would have to be a big girl start applying at hospitals because I didn't just want to apply here where I'm currently working or when where I did my CSP I needed to apply elsewhere because you just you just never know hey you just never know but we had this thing that where I'm working most of the CSPs from previous years or almost all of them got a place where we were at the hospital because i mean they really dedicate their time to teach us and we go through courses so obviously they want to keep us there because i mean we know a lot uh, especially about the hospital and like how it works and all of that yeah well because they invested their time man i mean as they should <laughs> So yeah, oh my camera is like flashing and it's load shedding in 15 minutes. My goodness. Um so I was out of work in Feb, like the entire Feb. I, I didn't go to work. Then Michelle and I started applying um at different agencies so we could like still work. Because we need to earn money. We are living in places that require money. And you know. So we applied at like private agencies, um, public agencies. But the downside is that we couldn't work at the hospital that we're currently working at. Because under sank which is what regulates us as nurses the body we were still um known as csps we we're still under csp so we couldn't work now as professional nurses and obviously we couldn't work as csps because contract has ended so yeah we had now to familiarize ourselves with like different hospitals because other hospitals um they accepted us as professional nurses even though we understand we were not professional nurses because you have to pay like a certain amount and then yeah <sighs> so that was that um the first hospital i worked at was tigerberg and this is a hospital that I worked at before as a student like I was mostly placed there as a student so I was familiar with the place but only I was only there as a student now I was going there as a professional nurse child now I'm gonna be in charge of people of people's lives and I was so blessed that I got to work at a a maternity ward because Mowbray, where I'm working, is a maternity hospital. So at Tigerberg, they placed me in a maternity ward, and obviously, I know maternity. So I was like so glad because 
we were just delivering babies um, um, looking after the mothers like the postnates and even the the antenates like that so if you're wondering a postnate is a, a woman that has delivered she's postnatal and then prenatal is a woman that has not delivered she's still pregnant yeah so I was fortunate to work there and I had like I didn't have a shift yet but they kept calling me like are you available no, 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 we need a sister or, or yeah you know so I worked at Mowbray maternity I worked at Tigerberg for like was it like a week or two weeks and then oh i also worked at victoria and victoria is i wouldn't necessarily say it's like private but like it's a very small hospital you know it doesn't really take a lot of people and i worked there for basically just one night because i'm living closer and the lady that is like coordinates our shifts with the agency was like girl we need a sister at this place and you are like the closest so could you like please go and i told her i'm not really a an emergency sister like obviously i've worked in emergency as like a student but like i'm coming from a maternity hospital that's my experience like i have more experience there it's like just please go there will be other like sisters that will show you around and obviously like you know the gist of things so then i was like okay cool like i'm just here might as well just go like i could walk but i just use a taxi then the night went fine actually like it was quiet because i'm used to if you work at mobile maternity you know it's chaotic like it's a chaos it's busy because it's the only maternity hospital and yeah so i'm used to busy life when i go to other like hospitals and i see that you know these nurses working here actually having an amazing time like we barely get time to sit for like the 12 hours only like lunch you get to sit down but other than that girl you on your feet the whole time and sometimes you can't even take your lunch like when you are supposed to because it's busy and you can't just leave everything because it's gonna wait for you <laughs> it's gonna wait for you so you need to do what you gotta do child end of um feb came like the whole of february i was working agency and child we were paid my um weekly the money that i made i was like hey no way this is peanuts this is peanuts i missed working at the hospital because because a salary there is a salary child what i was getting dude yo i literally wanted to cry let me tell you the first time i got my salary <laughs> after being unemployed from the agencies that i've been working i was hurt child yo <laughs> i literally wanted to cry because the money i made was basically peanuts like it couldn't even pay my rent let alone food transport and everything because obviously going to these different hospitals i needed like money for transport and damn child the money i made for that entire month was nothing it was close to nothing and i had to touch on my savings that broke me because i'm thinking i had to sacrifice this money like other people were out here like bowling like my my age mates were like out here enjoying their life you know having the time of their lives and while they were doing that nah, every cent i was saving so i was like now i'm just going to have to use the money that i saved to basically keep me going because the money i made child that was just enough for groceries other than that i couldn't pay anything 
but i was like i was grateful for the fact that i managed like to save up because imagine if i didn't save anything and like i was still in this position what would i have done because i can't ask anyone for rent money for food for transport like that is a lot to ask from a person and now i really don't like asking for money like i don't i don't like it i will do it if like i have to and i don't have any other choice but i don't like doing that like i just love being independent having my own money and you know just living my best life using my money so that was that and i was like ah, asana i don't know now it's end of feb ne? and i was now expecting mobri to like call and be like girl you got a post and crickets child crickets this is end of feb and imagine um our interviews were like beginning of or mid mid um mid jan we're still waiting fine i was like okay it's just fair it's just literally just one month um i do have money that i saved so i'm able to survive like this month so fingers crossed the following month they're gonna call hi bo first week of march nothing second week of march nothing i'm like Hi, but guys, has Mowbray forgotten about us? Like, we we need work. And yo, I asked on this whole thing of traveling, going to different hospitals, meeting new people, and mm -mm, it's not nice. It's not nice because in as much as like you are the professional nurse, you don't really know like the routine, and you don't even get orientated. They don't tell you, okay, here we do A, B, and C. You have to figure your way because you're not going to be babied anymore because you're like a sister. So you need to know your sh you know? <gasps> I was like, I sana. Like it literally felt like I was thrown, I was thrown in the deep end, but that was needed, you know, for me to like grow and yeah, you need to go through such things. So I was like, and at this point, like I was the one that was so um, optimistic and I kept telling the others, no guys, relax, they're going to call us, you know, um, just hang in there, you know, Moby will never do that. I think I put too much. I'm like, just relax guys, you know, they're going to call us. Let's just, you know, sit back and wait on them. And then even even pe the people that I was like, I worked with, like the nurses, kept sending me messages. Bible, Sana, nothing. What 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 is going on? And when I asked like the other sisters that were also CSPs there, and then I asked them like, how long did it take for them to like hire you as in like a professional nurse now and all of that? And it seemed like for them it was like swift. Like it happened like swift and for us it was like really taking like a while So now <laughs> I'm starting to lose hope and like all the others are just like Girl, you the you are the one that was like basically holding us together and now you're losing hope like Make it make sense So I waited I waited and finally I got a phone call i was expecting an email i got a phone call and then they were like girl when can you start your interview went well we want you to be part of the team and i was ecstatic i was like oh finally this was yeah i think this was end end of march i was like finally like february was like a disaster yo it was a disaster i was so broke and I was like, I, I don't know now. I don't know what is happening, Mowbray. Come on. And my first placement was my first placement. My first placement as a professional nurse was my first placement as a comserve. So I was like, I'm back home, child. Ooh. It's low chilling now. I'm sure the lighting has changed because <laughs> my ring light is off. But I installed my lashes off camera so now it's time for lipstick so as i said um 
when I got that call, I was sleeping. It was like in the morning around 8. And I was sleeping and I got a call from one of the operational nurses. And she was like, girl, you got the post. And I was working at a ward that I'm used to, like the neonatal ward, a ward that I actually love. I was so happy and child things now were not the same when you are a conserv or when you are new everything about moving maternity seems like oh my goodness sweet roses unicorns it's like beautified like everything is just my goodness everywhere you go people are so nice they're greeting you hi how are you when you are part of the team child mm, things change when you walk in, uh, like when you're walking in the corridors and you greet people they just look at you like who's this <laughs> who is this but as a csp everyone is like hi hello you know it seems like the best environment ever charm mm -mm. i think i am done let me just take off my band and I'll be right back to show you the final results. And what I've learned is that you're going to be thrown in the deep end at times and you have to swim your way out because it's not as glory as it seems. I learned that the hard way but I also feel as if like all the things that we go through, whether it's harsh or whatever, it just makes you, it's, it builds your character as like a professional nurse. It's not easy when you are in those situations where everyone is just like, you're the sister, so you deal with it. But it builds your character and it makes you like real strong so that when something comes up, you're like, mm -mm, I'm in charge. So A, B and C needs to happen as a now. This is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat and hope it does teach you a few things about the working space. It's not as glory as it seems. A lot happens, but you gotta be strong. It builds your character. See you in the next video. Bye.